Good morning. This is the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pro Baba Otu. The Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research of the University of Ghana says government's proposed planting for foods and jobs campaign needs more clarity to draw stakeholder support. Under the planting for food and jobs campaign, government is seeking to increase production of maize to 30%, rice to 49%, soya bean to 25% and sorghum to 28%. And moving on, the Association of Ghana Industries has called on government to give tax breaks to investors interested in the One District One factory, especially those looking at the rural areas. Humphrey A.M. Duck, Vice President of the Association in charge of SMEs, believes that for the One District One factory to succeed, government must completely waive corporate taxes while employing a tax policy like the pay as you earn to lure investors, entrepreneurs and industrialists to establish these companies or factories. And in our final story, the Member of Parliament for Ho Central, Benjamin Kodo, has advised government to disaggregate debt meant for social projects and commercial loans contracted by state-owned enterprises in order to determine the actual national debt. Some 2.34 billion US dollars have been on lent to state-owned enterprises, which are all captured in the 122 billion Ghana cities being mentioned as total national debt. If the commercial loans are taken out of the total 122 billion Ghana cities, already the debt to GDP ratio drops heavily to about 68%, which the member of the finance committee indicates reflects the true national debt. And it's a wrap on the BNFT Digest. Grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper or simply visit our website, thebftonline.com, for more stories. My makeup is by Juben House of Beauty. The BNFT Digest is sponsored by Belako Natural Mineral Water. Have a nice day.